Okay, so uh, this video is about uh, how to read a vernier caliper and a micrometer screw gauge. So let's take uh, first the vernier caliper. Uh, I have an object here, uh, which we are trying to, whose thickness we try to measure. Uh, and what we do is we press that thing, uh, that object between the two teeth of the vernier caliper. And this is what we see on our screen, uh, on, on the device. So you have two scales here. One is a vernier scale and the other is your main scale. Uh, so to measure, so let's try to see how we can read uh, the, the, the thickness here of this object. So the first thing you do is you look at your vernier scale. Each uh, unit here, which is from here to here, it corresponds to uh, 0.1 millimeter. So uh, that's the, um, the unit here on the vernier scale. And you also have uh, marks for uh, 0 0.05 millimeter here. So uh, which are in between the, the, the whole numbers. So those represents the 0 0.05 millimeter uh, graduation. Uh, then you are on the main scale, uh, it's a simpler uh, scale uh, where the unit corresponds to one millimeter. So, if you want to read this uh, thickness, so what you do first is look at the zero of the vernier scale and see which point of the main scale is immediately to the left of it. And uh, it is in this case, this point. And then you can try to see what's the value of that point. So you can uh, read the main scale. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine millimeter uh, on the main scale. The reading on the main scale would be nine millimeter here. So there's the first thing you record. The next thing you record is what's the reading on the vernier scale. And for that reading, you uh, do the following. You, you look, at the lines on the vernier scale and you look at the lines on the main scale and see which, which of the lines on the vernier scale completely align with the lines on the main scale. So if you look at zero, zero is not aligned with any line on the main scale. One is close to this line, but not as good. Then as you move forward, you might come across four, which is even closer to the main line. And if you look at five, it is almost well aligned with the main scale here. So that would be uh, the reading here, uh, which is five on the vernier scale. So reading on the vernier scale is five. Now, what you do is uh, for the vernier scale, you do you take the reading which is five, and you multiply it by the uh, by uh, the distance corresponding by one unit, which in this case is 0 0.1 millimeter, and it would give you 0 0.5 millimeter. And now you add the main scale with your vernier scale, so your uh, reading of the vernier caliper would be the following. That's equals to nine uh, plus 0 0.5 equals to 9.5 millimeters. So that's the thickness of the object which we wanted to measure using the vernier scale, using a vernier caliper. Uh, so imagine if instead of a five, if one of these, for example, this one would align better with the main scale. So in that case, you the reading on your vernier scale would be 4.5 and your vernier scale would be 0.45 and your reading, your main reading would be 9.45. So these, the, these lines in the middle 
they corresponds to 0.05 uh, uh, millimeter of resolution. So this is for the Bernier scale. If you now let's go to the uh, uh, mean scale uh, to the uh, micrometer screw gauge. So let me clear the annotation. So in this case, you can see again that you have in the same object, no switch uh, compressed between the two jaws of the micrometer screw gauge. Uh, again, you have two scales. One is the main scale, which is here on the on this linear one. And you know you have a screw gauge or uh, the a circular gauge or a circular gauge, uh, which is on this rotating dial. So uh, you can see on the main scale, you have two uh, lines, one ab above this horizontal line and one below the horizontal line. The one, so this, if, if this is zero, the, this line corresponds to 0 0.5 mm. Uh, this corresponds to one mm. This corresponds to 1.5 mm. So these lines correspond to 0.5 uh, millimeter milestones along the main axis, I mean the main scale. Uh, let me tell you about the vernier scale, uh, the, the micrometer scale here. That scale has 50 marks on it, and each mark corresponds to 10 millimeter, uh, 10 microns. So, or in other words, 0 0.01 millimeter, which is uh, basically the resolution. This is the resolution of your device. Uh, so, uh, if you have 50 scales here, if you have a complete rotation here from zero to uh, back to zero, you, you would move from, let's say, by half a millimeter on the main scale. That's why you have these half millimeter milestones here as well. So now if you can see here, uh, I have to read this scale. What you do is you look at the edge of this uh, dial and then, uh, record the for the main scale reading you record the value just immediately to the left of this thing so if you can see it is um, uh, five six seven eight nine it's nine millimeters and then you look at whether you have passed through the half millimeter milestone or not and it's it, it seems not in this case so what you can do is then you can just start read, um, do the reading on your uh, micrometer scale, which are the uh, so, or the circular scale. So in this case, a reading of uh, you 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 look parallel to what you have uh, with respect to this horizontal line on the main scale. So you have 20, 21, 22, and almost 22 is roughly parallel uh, close to the uh, uh, on the circular gauge. Uh, but if you can see that this uh, is not 22, it's slightly misplaced than 22, you can uh, roughly say that it may be 22.2 or 22.3. So let me write it as 22.3 as the reading on the circular gauge. So what you do is for the uh, circular scale, you multiply uh, your circular gauge reading by its resolution, which is 0 0.01 millimeter. So you take 0 0.01 millimeter and multiply it by 22.3. So it turns out to be 0. 2 to 3 millimeters. Then for the total reading, 
what you do is you combine both the main scale and the circular scale. So you have nine plus 0 0.223 millimeters, millimeter here as well, that is give, that give you 9.223 millimeter. That's how you read the, uh, a certain reading on the micrometer screw gauge. 